Today I'm going to talk to you about Freedom Shields. I've actually had this now for close to a year, so I'm going to give you my take on it and tell you a little bit about the product. And I'm also going to show you how to install it. Now, since I'm talking about this, I guess I'm an agent of Shield. Dad humor. There we go again. Hours of entertainment. When I bought this bike about a year ago, the standard windshield that came with it is this really thin five inch windshield. I mean, while it looks cool, after riding about two or three weeks, I realized this wasn't gonna be for me. I was getting buffeted all over the place, the wind was kicking my butt, and I realized I needed to get a larger windshield plus a thicker one as well. So what I did is I went home, started looking online, and there are a lot of different manufacturers for shields, you know, specifically for Harley. But I came across Freedom Shields, started reading their testimonials. So after reading a lot of the testimonials, a ton and ton of positive remarks on it. So I went with it. See, positive reinforcement does work. They call this the air curve design. And the reason they call it that is because it's curved at the top. And the air curve drives the airflow about two to three inches higher than a standard windshield. Gives you a cleaner airflow. It's also 30% thicker than the stock shield, like the five inch one that came with my bike. The materials on here, is a high impact acrylic. It's very durable, has a five year warranty. They're DOT approved, has UV protection. Haven't seen any type of fading at all since I've had this. When I contacted Freedom Shields, these guys really impressed me on how willing they were to help to get me set up at the right size. They walk me through sizing and the different tints they offer. To get the correct size, they give you some tips on their website. The shield size will depend on your personal preference, but you have to take your height, your seat position to ultimately get the right size. And it's kind of similar to helmets. It's hard just to buy online without trying them on, so I really dig their return policy. When you buy from Freedom, they say try it first, and if you're not happy with it, return it. The only thing they ask is you keep the factory plastic that comes with the shield. So you, obviously you can't see it with the shield right now, but when it comes, they actually encourage you to install the shield. I mean, you can still see through the plastic, of course. And if you don't like it, return it or exchange it on another one. Unfortunately for me, because I have issues and I can't measure, I went through two exchanges till I got the right one. They have a really no worries attitude there and it shows. They ship the replacements quick and I sent back the other ones. I dealt specifically with the owner, John, and this guy went out of his way to make sure I was happy. What I recommend for getting the right fit on this shield is to sit down in your most common, I'm gonna stress the word common riding position. Once you get this from the tip of your nose, run a straight line. Then measure from the top of the fairing to the point you made. Then you'll kind of get an idea which size to order. You should be able to see over the shield by a couple inches if you do it this way. If you don't have a big enough shield to get the specific size, you could tape some cardboard to the end of your existing shield and make a mark and measure from the fairing. Mistake I made when I first ordered was I set up too much and this threw it off. Once you get the size you're looking at, then you can choose the tint. They come in four different shades, clear, which is this one right here, light gray, medium gray, and dark. And with the guys being so accommodating, I ended up getting two different shades. I ended up getting an eight inch shield, that's what this is, and it's absolutely perfect. I picked up the clear and the dark gray. I like the look of the dark, which you'll see in just a second. But if I ride at night, I'd probably switch it out for the clear. It's all personal preference. Now the cost of these start about $100. Depending on the size, it could go up to $130 range. Now with the size I ended up getting, I believe it was around $110. As I've said before, I've been riding this for over a year and I don't have one negative thing to say. It's durable, uh, I don't get buffeted hardly at all. It's very clear and it looks cool too. So if you're in the market for a new shield, I'd highly recommend them. Let me show you how to install this. To install it on the bike, it's very, very simple. Only tool you'll need is this T27 torque bit and then I attach it to this to make it easier, but all you need is the bit. And what you want to do is, I think in the instructions they tell you to actually take these completely out. You don't need to. All you need to do is just get it started. And I remember when I first actually installed this, it was really tight getting in, you know, when I took off that five inch windshield, and then I put uh, these on. So as I take these out here, I just barely take them out, probably like six, seven turns, and then it should just pop right out. Just like that. The clear one I just took out, now I'm gonna put the dark gray right back in, and it should slip right in. Now, kind of 
good idea here as you tighten these up, alternate between them, and then as you tighten them, make sure you're happy with it, make sure it's snug down there. So I always start with kind of like the middle one. You can see my hand, I'm pushing down on it. And then I'll go to the left side, and as you tightened up the middle one, this left side popped out, or came up a little bit, not popped out. And then same thing over here, kind of push it down, tighten it all up. And then I'm going to finish it off with the center one. And make sure I'm happy on all of them. You don't have to over tighten these things, just make sure they're snug. Down, down, down. Good fit. There you go. See how easy that was? It was less than like, what, two minutes? One thing I'd recommend to clean the shield is plexus. This stuff is awesome. It works really well. The materials that are used to make this actual shield are the same acrylic, the same uh, stuff they use around hockey rings. You know, so like when you're slamming a thing and someone's getting pummeled in a corner and you're slamming the, um, the plastic on the rink, same stuff. Of course, you're not going to really do that on here. But very simple. Just wipe it on. And it especially after a long day of riding, and you really can't tell as much as you can with the clear, but the uh, this stuff takes everything right off really quick, and it's cheap. I mean, this, I don't remember, I think it was probably like 10 bucks, and I've had this for a year, and I still have a half of it left. So really good stuff. I'm gonna link all the information in the description below, the website, so you can take a look for yourself. If you like this video, make sure and let me know. And don't forget to hit the bell button to get notifications when I put up new content. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be well, and I'll talk to you soon.